Hello and welcome to another video tutorial for driverguide.com. Today I'll be showing you how to download and install a driver found on the driverguide.com website. Now this process can vary depending on the type of file that you're downloading. Today I'll show you how to download two types of files, an exe file and also an inf file. I'm going to begin with an exe file. Now I've already searched for and found the driver that I want. Uh, it's a Realtek audio device and here I am on the download page. You can see there's a green download now button which I can click on to download the driver guide installer software. Now this software will assist in the downloading process. It does this by fetching the driver that I'm looking for from the fastest download server and then it'll, it'll, it'll continue to assist me with the download and installation process. So as the file downloads, I'll click on Run so that I can launch the driver guide software. Okay, now I'm going to click Next. If I click now, if I click on the uh, Install Now button, it's actually going to launch the executable file that I just downloaded. In some cases, executable files are actually self-extracting archive files. Now this page that just popped up is going to allow me to rate the driver that I just downloaded. I'm going to minimize that for now and come back to it later. So here is the uh, self-extracting file. It's asking me where I want to extract the files to. I'm going to create a folder here called Realtek. And when I click on install, it's actually going to extract all the contents to that directory. So let's go open up that folder that I just created, Realtek. And here are all the extracted files. Now in here you'll find a setup.exe file. So let me go ahead and double click that to open it. And it launches into a wizard. Okay, now once I come to the finish screen, I can either say yes to restart my computer now or restart it later, which is what I will choose. Click finish, and the installation is complete. All right, now there also is another type of file that we can download, and this is a INF file. Now, as you can see here, I'm on the download page for a Bluetooth device. Let me go ahead and click on the Download Now button. Okay, and once the Driver Guide Installer software launches, I can click Next. And here I've come to the Finish screen. Now if I click this Open button, you can see it was actually a zip file that I downloaded, which I have highlighted here. So I'm going to go ahead and extract the contents of this zip file and that should be just fine. Now I'm going to open this folder and you'll see several files that were extracted including an INF file. Now you might be wondering what do I do with these files? Well, let me show you the problem that I'm having with this particular device. If I go to my device manager In Device Manager, you can see there's a Bluetooth device that has a small yellow exclamation point indicating that there's some sort of problem with that device. Typically, that means that the driver needs to be updated. I can do that by right-clicking on the device and choosing Update Driver Software. I'm going to browse my computer for driver software. Down here, I'm going to pick let me pick from a list of device drivers on my computer. and I'm choosing that option because I have downloaded the exact driver that I already want and I want to choose exactly that file. So I'm going to click on Have Disk and that gives me a Browse button so I can browse directly to the location where I downloaded that file. And if I click this drop down here you can see that I'm already in that location. 
Here's the INF file that I downloaded, so I'm going to select that, click on Open, click OK, and my software has been installed. My device is now updated with the correct driver. I can click Close. And then here you'll see my device manager window has refreshed and now I no longer have the exclamation point uh, indicating a problem. I now have a uh, device that is working properly. And that is how you download and install a driver, which is an INF file, to update a problematic device.